Oh yeah, let's get it. Welcome back everybody. If it looks like I'm having a hard time holding my camera because, ah, oh, that's one thing I don't like about this camera. It really doesn't focus like that after I move it too much or something, but I am driving with one hand. See, look, there it goes again. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I need to mess with this camera settings a little bit more, but in today's video, we're going to attempt to re-clear, or not re-clear, buff out my wing, and we're gonna help out the homie Beltron. Uh, put his fender on because you got a new fender and I'm assuming it's paint match so we're gonna do that. I'm gonna head to autos right now and uh, see what like I guess um, what you would call it like compound I can use to like buff out the clear coat because I have some plastic or I don't know what it is but I think we'll just see what I can find right there and hope for the best because we gotta meet Cali Creamin this Saturday and your boy's wing is um she hurt main she hurt as crazy as it sounds, I really want to put this car away already. I should probably turn my lights on, but yeah, I really, 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 really want a new game plan with this car. If you guys have any idea what mode we're going to put in it, what we're going to do, comment down below what I should do, and maybe what you guys should change from the building. The new setup I'm going with is going to be completely different. Besides the interior, the only thing I might do is reflock the dash because within the year, or so I kind of like messed up. Bottle zone! Yeah! Is this how all the TikToks were made? Oh, is a little handle for it? Yeah, a little tripod. Dang, it's hard for my camera to focus on it, but. It's so hard to use, bruh. Oh shit. This who said it's tracking me, bruh. Hold on. This zoom put look. Okay, look. Look at that screen right there. That thing is dead ass chasing me right now. What's going on? What? That's badass. What? That's crazy. Dude, what? But that's, this is easy. This is just. It's just fucking hard to. So. There's just a Phillips screw back here. You slap that off. Damn, Don't bro. Oh, expose me. Fuck. Don't expose me. Oh, no. Always grab me like that, bro. I'm sorry to whoever saw me like this. That's crazy. Bumper off. Long story short, Belchon. What, what happened, Belchon? Camber. Camber. Camber gang, bro. And it ruined his fender. I, I, I added these camber what, plates what? and it stuck my wheels out. And Big it no did not no. look good, and I messed turn. up the fender, and it freaking messed it. it fucked up my fender. <sighs> Lesson learned. It cut it, got the sturdiness no more. So every time I turn, bacon, bacon, not the good kind. Not the, not the good one. But the man's has a new fender. You get it out. And this is what I was talking about my wing. I don't know if I said earlier in the video. Look at that. Oh my God, the video Ooh. makes it look even worse. Jesus Christ! Who let me drive out like this, dude? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna use an orbital, orbital sander on this and just wipe off the clear coat. I can get my finger right now and look at it. Whoop! Yeah, that's no bueno. But we're gonna go ahead and get homie's fender situated first because he does have some rivets on it. Let's see how how did the P match come out? Is it matched? It's hard to tell. He's gonna have to sit on. Don't the never side. know. Has to sit on the sun. They'll never know. They'll never know. They'll never know. Hopefully, Unless whoever watches this video. Cali, Cali Creaming is indoor show, so we'll see how that. We'll be all right. Looks, we'll be all right. I think you'll be all right, but we gotta remove that side skirt, front fender, bumper. Maybe or oh, front fender, obviously. How <laughs> <laughs> weak. The front bumper, and then maybe, maybe headlights. Mm. Maybe headlights. We don't know. I don't think so. Just this. Oh no, yeah, just this. And then there's the a bolts tent over right here. there. That's cool. And then the, maybe some inside. I don't know, we'll see right now, but yeah. Breaking yeah, up bueno. It's just, it's just Static life. God dang it. The boy said we need that wood, honey. I needed two woods. To think that he drove up on this without any guidance. 
How well do you know your car? That's all good. Did you loosen your lug nuts? No, I don't need to take on my wheel. Oh, okay. Oh, just to access it. Okay. We'll be alright. Where's the thing at? Where's the... Oh, you I, mando? I ran over it. Fucking roadkill the other time. I, you I sick a, motherfucker. I took a bit. <laughs> Who the fuck put these jacks on here, right? Who put these jacks on here? What, where are they at? <laughs> Man's, whose man's did this? Oh, damn! Whose man's did this? Dude, you're hella safe. That's crazy. I fucked up, man. It was me. Yeah, he said it was me. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh my god. It takes to be cool. Ugh. I should have bought a chode Phillips. Are you ready? Go for it. Oh, shit. That's crazy. Standards are riveted now. Nice. Good like that. Oh fuck, you drove the fuck out of that oh, one. Yeah, dude. Let's see. Was the that it? fuck? What the fuck is it stuck on now? The headlight? Don't tell me you have to take off the headlight. Bro, the entire time it was just the fucking headlight holding it in there. What the fuck's the rivet? Where did where is the rivet, bro? Where is the rivet, bro? Where is it stuck here now? What's going on, man? Is like There's nothing. Yeah, I took off that one. I took off that one. Maybe it just hooks on? Oh, yeah, right here. That's why it doesn't pull back. Gotta pull it up. Lift it, huh? Yeah. All right. Static homie. Breaks his car. <clears throat> Oh, there's a 10 right there, bro. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Send on that thing. Get the wrench. <laughs> yeah. You hear me getting mad already. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. Perfect. So majestic. Perfect. I see a lot of new cars have Look. this foam. Oh, my God. Damn. So when I buckled oh, it. Oh, so look, the rivets are for this inside. So we're going to take off the rivets regardless. Oh, it's for this. Yeah, look. For, for the bracket. Oh, right here, the brackets and stuff like that. So, yeah, good thing we drilled them out regardless, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, damn, that's a. Uh, this is what happened right here, bro. I This thing got cut and it made this flimsy. So every time I'll turn, this thing will. And it, and it damaged it cut. all the way over here. Look, it's bent right here, too. Oh, yeah, you can see it. That's crazy. I'm sorry if you had to see this. Oh, my God. So it turns out we do need to take out the rivets because from Honda, the brackets that bolt on to the car are riveted to the fender. Don't know why, but... We got them off. That's all that matters, right? That's all that matters. I have rivets, but I don't have my rivet gun. So we just bought some 10 mils and we're gonna bolt them on. I have yeah. some Loctite, so. Look yeah. for the rivet gun. We should be. <laughs> so, I can't find my rivet gun, sadly. We have the rivets. But no rivet gun, but it's okay. We thought prior to this, Beltron, or me and Beltron went to AutoZone, and I went to AutoZone. Yeah. What a stancy guy. But, we got some M6 hardware. And instead of the rib nuts, we're just gonna go ahead and bolt it down. Should be about the same thing, but right now the bolts aren't fully going through, so I'm not going too crazy. I'm just going in and we'll widen it out. Just good enough for the bolt to fit in. <laughs> like oh. oh, damn. I need to roll it. I Who's man? Just show me the show me the moves right now. <clears throat> show me them angles, boy. Oh, the soap. <laughs> the soap. <laughs> oh fuck. Aftermarket fan is giving us trouble. <sighs> Little bitch. It's gonna be a whole separate video. I'm like helping the the homie static static. All right, well, the new fender's on, and as you can see, Beltron's a uh, he's got the hammer out. He's got the hammer on, guys. Take this Take this fucking puta. Oh. Whoa. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck it. Struggling. So we were gonna roll a fender, guys, but, um... Kinda need to start it. Yeah, well, it's cause since the fender doesn't really, like, support it in that little corner where it's rubbing, um, we're just gonna smack it, and then hopefully that gives us, like, a little push, because the lip is, like, very, like, downward, so... I think we'll be alright. 
Don't worry about the paint. It's been painted for like a month. Yeah, <laughs> for real, huh? Yeah. Fresh ass paint getting cracked dirty is crazy. Hi. You can someone notice it. We Gucci or what? I think you're the fitness specialist. <laughs> Who says size doesn't matter, bro? Look at that shit. Uh, but we just installed the fender. We didn't record it, but I just finished rolling this fender because my boy was finna hit and we're already right here, so I might as well do it. Ooh! My god, name better fitment. Ooh, you know what? We might have to trim this Beltron. You're, yeah. you're right. That's yeah, we shit. might cut it. Well, good thing I have my grinder, so I'm brand new cutting this. But check out my fender roll, guys. What do you rate that? Hold I on. Can't, I can't really check it, but. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at that fender roll. And I did that right now. Look at that. Oh, uh, flat, boy. We don't cut nothing out here. We roll it. Cutting and the boy's static. What you know about that? This is, look at that. That was the previous one. What do you guys say for yourself? Who wrote that one? I don't know who did. <laughs> okay, I, it's called uh, mallet. All right, turn the left. Oh, you cool, bro. What y'all think? What y'all think? What we think? What we think? Huh? I think you're good. Gucci. I'm gonna have to flare it out. Because how does the outside look? The, the actual driver's side. It's the same thing, look. Is it? Yeah. It's the exact same. Oh, shit. Yeah, it is. Maybe the other one's a little bit more. You think so? Static life, y'all. Static. Yeah, this is Only way we're gonna find out is to drive it, right? <laughs> so long that game, you know what? Let's at least put three. Let's be a little responsible. Let's be at least be a little bit responsible. Los Trellita. First time fender. That gap is nice. Sheesh. First try, homie. Why she switch bags? Oh, they are. What? I just need to put the other one on. That was dope. What the hell? So, like, when it's foggy, I can just switch it like that. <laughs> That's bad. That boy saucy. Oh, this paint doesn't rub, guys. That dude is so low. It's crazy. It's actually really freaking crazy. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think? Static over bags, or bags over static? I used to have a 40 side wall, so my car used to be a lot lower. You can't really tell right now because of the lighting, but this is my ride height, and that's as low as I can go. The rear, I can like basically drop it pretty low because it's a good stretch to buy nine in the rear. And then the front, it's a little bit fatter because it's the same tire size, but it's by eight, so I'm staggered. But that's the lows I can drive because it's like no tire gap. I used to have a 40 side wall and it used to be a lot lower back then. But the comfort level wasn't as good. Damn! <laughs> oh my God. What was that? Hopefully nothing bad. Eh? But if you guys do want to see more of his car content, I'm going to drop his Instagram down below. He yeah, has some sick ass rollers to save. We might do some right now later tonight. My car looks kind of clapped out, but um, yeah, his car is crazy static, yo, and it's honestly not that like uncomfortable for how low it is. He's on. I don't even, he's not even on ultra lows. That's the crazy part too. But yeah, one of my more favorite newer Civics because those cars are modded all the time everywhere, and well, some just don't know how to do that. And he's color matched like everything on that car, so it's sick. I fuck with it. It's dope. Yeah. Bro, guess what happened? What happened? I fucking ran over my fog light. <laughs> no freaking way. Oh, I just said how sick they look. God dang it, bro. The pins look like it just came out. I think it'll be good. Uh, oh, what <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, like it just fucking came out. Oh, okay, we're good. We're, we're solid. Bro, the little fan took some damage. Bro, I even said it too. I was like, what is that noise? Who, who, who fucking didn't zip him up, huh? 
<laughs> You're just showing tall right Bro. now. Alright, hold on, let's see guys. Can we accomplish this? Oh, it's some pretty strong metal, dude. Oh, wow. Oh, that shit fucked. Oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Okay. Is this five foot though? No, it's still, it's still fanning. Mm. Alright, don't look. Así te la jalas? Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the new doctor? Hey. No oh, shit. Oh, no, that needs to be way more. But we'll just do without it. I think it's just like a little, like, cover. A little know? protector, huh? You think it'll be Maybe fine? Yeah, I mean. <laughs> 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 okay, let's see. Let's see. The power is going to be the blue one. That's for sure. Do you think if I flip it, it'll short it? It won't turn on. It's just the Larry. Mm -hmm. Well, look, the thing right here shows positive and negative. I'm gonna flip itself. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So have it connected this and one? then plug. <laughs> a little fan going ham, look at it. The fan still works. <coughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, now, do you think we should do it without the fan? Uh, or without the, fan, the, without the cover? cover? I mean. I think it should be I mean, okay. I mean, it's not gonna hit anything. It's just, the, it's just like covering like the outside particles. You know what I mean? Well, at least your fender don't rub. Well, at least my fender don't rub, but shit. <laughs> hey, these were, these were sponsored lights, so I'll hit them up and I'll be like, hey, that. Le Left. Straight. Oh, God, it's gonna go seriously, but. Wait, 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 wait. We do not want these drill bits popping a tire right now. Oh, sure, you're not watching this right now? Keep it going. Oh my God, right there. Yeah. Son. Well, we're done. Insoles are done. Sock took damage. Socks are damaged. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. I might continue Look. it tomorrow, depending how long this edit is. Oh, fuck. How you feels up, bro? Patches out. Yeah. Cars back together. Fog light works. The, the, the fender has to cure. It has to be in the sun for a little bit. Yeah, you can tell by a little bit. I mean, now that I more than mentioned it, my eyes kind of can look away now. The camera, yeah, you can definitely tell on camera. That one's a lot lighter than the rest of the car, but since it's car's it's been it. Yeah, that's how my bumper was when I first got it. It was hella bright, but it got darker on the yeah, so you just basically have to let the car cook. Hopefully it cooks enough. I mean, I'm assuming not enough enough because, well, Kylie Cream is on Saturday, but I think it'll, it still looks good. Better than the unwanted bacon. Yeah, and when we test drove it, obviously it doesn't rub, so that's good. In fact, the other one rubs. The other one rubs? Your boy cooked on this one, guys. I wonder who rolled the other one. Regardless, or regardless, the car still looks great, in my opinion. And yes, guys, he drives like this. If anybody's wondering, the boy drives like this. Insane. I'm happy. But I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the rest of the shop, put everything away. And I might continue tomorrow because I still need to send down the wing on that fungus right there. Not too crazy, but all in all, guys. Successful day. Gotta clean up after yourself. That's the key to success. To success, he said. I don't know if this camera's being blurry or am I tripping right now. I keep messing with the settings. This camera's new to me, guys. So. <laughs> bro, how did that happen? <laughs> you see what I'm seeing, bro? I, I see what you're seeing, Beltran. You wanna go show me what you're seeing? Let me show him. Okay, stop. Ooh, who did connect it? That's crazy, bro. Oh, dude. <laughs> Imagine if you were to... Dude, you know what? You know why I have that switchback on that side? So I hit up the, the fucking company that sponsored me, right? And I, and I told them, hey, give me a, uh, do you guys have switchbacks? And they're like, yeah, they sent me switchbacks. Because you know what? I needed a fog light because this happened. I was driving like that and it ate up the fucking LED. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Oh, you could see them. Ah. 
That boy is nice. And it's the next day. So we got the homie Beltran's car up and going. And as you guys saw, my wing is still left at a disaster. So I'm gonna try to get that tonight. It is barely seven o'clock. So it's still super early, but obviously since summer's supposed to be over, but it's not, it's all dark out. But luckily we got the shop right here, a little small shop. And we're gonna go ahead and get sanded down as much as possible. Hopefully this comes out good before the meet because it would suck if it's not. I'm still debating on removing it because it would be better. So I don't have to get a bunch of like powder on the car. And to think I clear coated this wing like a couple months ago at the same time the hood got like sanded down when I first got the car back together and the hood is still like really good condition. Obviously there's some like orange peel going on, you can't see in the light, but like it still looks very presentable obviously, you know, when camera looks great. The wing on the other hand, it did not like it at all. Like I'm talking, I can run my finger now and it just, it was just horrible. The whole top piece, that's why I went to AutoZone and I got this. This is McGuire Mirror Glaze Compound. So, ultra finish polish. There was like three of these. Each one is like almost $38. Yeah, boy, I ain't finna spend like almost 100 bucks in like almost close to no freaking like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't do this on a daily. So, hopefully, this is enough. And the orbital sander was like about like $200. I'm not buying that, dude. I'm a cheapskate. I'm not gonna lie. Why? Why? Like, no, I'm not a, like, you know what I mean? So, I bought the little small one. I'm gonna put on my drill and go to party with it. And this kit that I got that had the little sander um, scratch remover, so I guess I could do that on like some of the engine bay pieces. So I don't know, we'll see what's up. I'm gonna wing it, hopefully, you have enough time. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this wing removed so I can start sanding it down and pray to God. We at least get some sanding done today and maybe tomorrow. I'm probably gonna sand one good big chunk and then like wax it, so or like not wax it, but you know what I mean. Um, that way I can even see if that product is gonna work how I want it, but I need to do like I think 300, 800, maybe like a 1, thousand, 1500 just to get like a really fine sand because if not then there's no point in doing the whole thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the wing off and get to sanding. Alright, so I got the wing off and if you can't hear me, that's because we got our PP on. I am not trying to get any powder in my freaking nose. I am over that stuff. So! We're ready to go. Let's get it. Hatch looks funny with no wing. Yeah. Okay. So, most of the clear coat is off already, which isn't too bad. Yeah, she's pumped. It's hot. But, for the most part, it's coming out pretty good. Yeah. All right. <sighs> It's been about an hour later, give or take. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. I had doubts. I'm not gonna lie, I had doubts. My first time ever doing, not first time doing something like it's clear coat, but like, I guess like a sand and buff type deal, but I give it a little, little quick, like, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. So the standing disc that I'm using is a 220 grit, which is pretty aggressive, I would think so, but the wing is old, like this is like a 90s wing, you know, so I mean, it's only, I personally think there's only so much I could do. Maybe a body shop can get it to look all even, but there's some like light spots here, dark spots there. You can see a lot more on the camera like right here. Maybe that's the joke code that's underneath. I don't know. Um, at the end of the day, let's see. I can't tell if all that's clear code still. It might just be, to be honest. Yeah, I might, I might hit it a little bit longer right now just to make sure because you can still see some like haziness and I'm assuming that might be more clear coat. But I did do it, go ahead and use like a little um, of the compound. And it's dirty now obviously from the dust, but this is just like a quick hit. And I don't know if you guys can tell. Let me shine the light at it, maybe see if that helps. Yeah, so you can see the carbon a lot more now. And that's just by buffing it, that's not even clear coat. So the fact that that's doing that, that's only 220 grit. I think I might just go um, to AutoZone. I should have gone right now, but it's all good. I'm gonna go tomorrow and get some, uh, probably like some 400 or 800. I think that might just do it to be honest with you guys. Um, if I go any more deeper, I mean, or like any more like fine, I guess is the word. Um, it's not gonna do much of a difference. So maybe, I don't know. I'm just trying to 
make deadline for Saturday. I'll probably send it to a body shop in the near future, but for the meantime, I think this is gonna do just good. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep sanding it right now. And see if I can give it maybe a quick buff. I have some hand sandpaper, but I don't wanna do that by hand because if this took this long with the machine, I imagine by hand. And I, yeah, we're not gonna do that, but hey, progress is better than no progress, right? The fact that it's working is bingo in my book. So yeah, my hands hurt, but it's gotta get done somehow. So clear coat for the most part looks all the way taken off. I'm, this whole centerpiece honestly might just be like burnt up clear coat, but I'm not gonna waste my time doing that right now because I got two more days and I just wanna do another fine hit of the sandpaper. And in the near future, I'll let a body shop take care of that because the gas cap and the window visors also need to get redone and I'd rather just get that all in once. I might have them tint the carbon, if that makes sense. So that when they tint it, it's like more of like a darker carbon, better said. So I do wanna do that and then the same with the carbon hood. Well, with the carbon hood, I wanna get that cleaned up right here on the little hood scoop. Freaking good. dark outline of it so you can really notice this a little bit better. Not bad progress for one day though. I would try and polish it, but I normally still see some scratches because it's a very like, I guess coarse grit. So I think it has some 800 over there. I'm gonna try that wet sanding in one spot to see what would be the best. So that tomorrow I can go to AutoZone, get that, hit the whole wing, like right after work. And then spend like another hour polishing. I think I should be good. But I don't think I'm gonna show that in this video. Obviously, because it's gonna be too long, I would suppose. But yeah, so um, I'm gonna just go ahead and do a sandpaper. I'm gonna give you guys at least a demo of how it looks. So, or chunk, so that when I do do the full piece, that'll be the day of Cali Creamin. And yeah, because I still need to detail the whole entire car, wash it hella good, and just. <sighs> yeah, I need to do a lot. But. Quit the chatter and let's at least get something polished up before the night ends. All right, well, it's 11.37. It's pretty late already, but when Matthew came through, I'll have to know this brake was real quick because this brakes were shot. Um, the whole wings basically sent it down, like I said in the previous clip, if I remember correctly, and I hit it with some 800, then I hit it with some 1500 just to see. I don't have a thousand, but that way I can know what sandpaper to buy tomorrow when I come again. And this is the result. So this is when it's not sanded down, I guess until it's very matte. And then that's with it waxed. So it's very hard to tell like how shiny it is, but just know it's like a day and night difference, dude. Like it's really good. So thankfully I'm able to save the wing enough time for the meat. So tomorrow I'm gonna hit that. Um, I feel like I think tomorrow I should be good to go. But that's gonna basically be a done deal for that. I'm gonna end the video here. I'll probably continue the video tomorrow once I actually do get it cleaned up and then once I go to the meet. But with that being said, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna crash out. It's almost midnight. I'm hella tired. But if you guys enjoy the shop videos, give us a thumbs up. And if you guys go to Cali Creamin, say what's up. See you guys out there. Peace out. Ah! Look at that group like that. Oh, 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 o